So, finally got a GoPro. Gonna take the headliner out, uh, pull all the fabric off, strip it down and paint it. So, this ought to be more than interesting. Kind of terrified. All right, guys. So, um, found my my source of my my leaky sunroof. Um, it's this drain right here is cracked. Uh, here here's the drain hose. Uh, the little plastic nipple broke off of there. If you come over here to the driver's side, you can see that's how it's supposed to look. Um, Land Rover being Land Rover, um, they don't. They don't sell just this little plastic corner. You have to buy the whole pan for the sunroof, which is ridiculous. Um, you can find these secondhand, but the cheapest one I found so far is about 100 bucks. Um, so after a little bit of research um, and a little bit of thinking about it, I was like, well, how can I fix this without having to replace the whole damn sunroof? Um, so I went to the hardware store and I found this a little aluminum bushing it's 5 16 outside diameter um, I don't know what the inside is but it's 5 16 outside diameter one inch long and it fits absolutely perfectly into the sunroof drain just like that I mean I mean fits like a glove and then if you look here on the drain line it literally fits perfectly in the drain line so what I'm going to do, I'm going to epoxy this in there. I'm going to epoxy that in there, just like that. And voila, we have a fixed sunroof drain for a grand total of $6.25. One cool thing, guys, is a, a new addition to the family is I got a GoPro. Uh, special thanks to my buddy Jason. Um, and I'll be using this for some videos upcoming and stuff like that, but I just want to show you guys that. Don't need a whole lot of this stuff, I am sure. Go ahead and put the cap back on. Mix this up. This is like a six minute epoxy. It kind of smells like the stuff you, like my mom used to use for doing perms. Kind of stinking, but whatever. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this in two parts. I got that piece, I got that piece epoxied in there. Um, we'll just let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll glue the tube on there. That way it doesn't mess it up. There you go guys, I took the, after the epoxy cured on the aluminum spacer into the sunroof drain little plastic piece. I slid the drain hose over it with some epoxy and it's my seven dollar and 25 cent uh land rover discovery 2 sunroof drain fix all right guys so i got the sunroof drain line fixed i got that piece epoxied in there and it's good to go um, but then i noticed that it was leaking around the edge here evidently somebody came in here and dropped the headliner once before and rtv siliconed all four of these on both sunroofs so what i'm going to do is i peeled the rtv back and i'm going to use some more of that two-part epoxy I'm going to go through, I'm going to epoxy this thing all the way around, and hopefully that will be the end of my sunroof drain issues. Now this is... Alright guys, so, putting on the bed liner on the headliner. Bed lining the headliner. Turbo diesel down the road. Must have been down the sunwalk. You hear it? All right, guys. So here is the first coat of the bed liner on 
Obviously, it's got to dry if I can do the second coat. But I'm pretty happy with it, especially when the uh, when, when it dries the rest of it. I think the sheen is gonna uh, even out real good. There it goes. Yeah, I think the sheen will actually even out real nice when it's done. Focus. There we go. So, first coat of the bed liner done. I also got my uh, CB antenna wire ran. What I did is I went in through the washer hose grommet, <coughs> which I have a vice grip mount mounted to the wiper arm. The rear wipers never worked in this since I've owned it. So <coughs> I don't really care about it. So what I did is I ran the wire through there, down through the door, through the factory loop, out through the factory stuff, and then along the top, and then stubbed out up there at the front, and I'm gonna end up mounting my CB up top like that. All right guys, um, sorry about the wind noise, if, if there is any. So I got the second coat of bed liner onto the headliner. I'm actually really happy how it turned out um, I think it's got a pretty nice texture to it. It's got a pretty even, um, pretty even sheen to it. It doesn't look perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. I got the cargo nuts and the rear center switch plate reinstalled, so it's ready to go back in. I'm just currently waiting for the basically for it to cure and for the smell to kind of ease up because it does have a pretty strong like paint smell to it right now but there it is I'm really really happy how that turned out alright guys so I got the headliner done it's getting dark so the lighting's not the best I know but I'll roll in a couple pictures of it finished I'm really, really, really happy with it. So I got my my CB mounted. Now, right now, I just got accessory wire plugged in, but got it mounted up there, and I'm running it on uh, power power supply so I can unplug it it ran up under the dashboard and through the headliner and all that stuff so that's the finished headliner absolutely just love it I think it looks great